Childish Gambino is officially just cancel. Just cancel it, bro. It's over. It's over. We had our fun. It's over. Bad and bad. Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that there is new merch available and you guys can find those links down in the description section. Also, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It helps me make bigger and better videos way more often for you guys. So please check that out. What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Jay Sama and today uh, we got another episode of Canon Culture. On today's episode, uh, talking a little, little sensitive subject, okay? Now your boy, your boy feels some type of way about this but first let me give you guys some context we're talking about your boy childish gambino aka donald glover all right so where i'm gonna start with this at is there seems to be a lot of social media rage okay towards this man having children with a white woman okay now i like to stay away from race debates because they are none of my none of this is my issue none of these things are my problem nor do I give a damn about what other people are fake offended by these days. So I just would like to say, fuck off in that regard. And uh, now we can proceed. Now, first of all, let me just tell you how it's none of my personal business who this man is with or is not with, and neither is it anybody else's. So that's that's where I'm coming from. Uh, a, another YouTuber I follow, Sky Williams, uh, was on Twitter and he made one of the funniest videos. The guy is a great content creator. I wish he would make more YouTube videos instead of Twitter videos, but he made this video. Breaking news, this just in childish Gambino caught with a white woman. When confronted about the race of this woman, Donald had this to say. Donald, is that woman white? What? No. We interviewed a black man on the street before and after he saw the picture. Before. Gambino? Yeah, I like him. And after. I hate him. Kind of want to murder him. Is there anything Donald can't do? Yes, there is. And that one thing he can't do is explain this. And that's why we give Donald Glover a one out of five. And so in this video, um, he's essentially just saying that I, I could tell it's I'm n actually I don't know Sky personally, so I'll have to assume that this is all sarcasm because it's got to be the dumbest fucking thing I ever heard in my fucking life. Yes, as somebody who is pro black and very like unapologetic about it, um, this just seems stupid to me. It just seems dumb as hell that somebody cannot be about the culture, about black culture, pro-black, if you will, and date outside their race. Now, it's it's also a very interesting circumstance to see it's mostly black women who are fake upset about this shit because, oh, I, I, I knew somebody like that, so successful, had to be with a white woman, blah, blah, blah. People are really just trying to make it seem like you have to be with somebody white to be successful and this, that, and the other thing. But let me remind y'all how Donald Glover has been one of the hardest working motherfuckers for a very, very long time since he was on Community, okay? And I've heard stories about people who have personally gone and met Donald Glover from like back in his classic like camp days, in case y'all didn't know before Redbone, he had several other albums. So back during his camp days, like when people would be around him he had a very um interesting vibe to him he was one of these where my hug type of niggas at okay like where where's my hug at type of nigga okay that that was him he was the type of weird dude and i've had this conversation with my buddy avatar yaya who uh he and i had a very interesting discussion which we'll get into that part so hopefully that won't make the episode a little too long um he was one of these type of dudes that black women just do not fuck with like black women officially like 100 i know this is very very maybe not 100 but there are very very small outliers out there that fuck with weirdos like like and i mean weird like we're the type of niggas to run in a hallway with our arms behind our back like we're fucking anime characters okay like like dudes who are into video games dudes who are into science and weird other shit and math and statistics black women just don't go for that they just don't they just really don't and to bring up the conversation i was having with my boy yaya we were talking about how uh, black women just don't pick black nerds. That's just that's just a thing that they don't do. It's 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 so such a rare sight. Okay, it doesn't happen. Now me myself, 
do not let the glasses fool you, okay? Yes, I am at heart, I am a nerd, I am a, a trans weeaboo, that is somebody who's transferring from normal to weeaboo, okay? Don't get it, <laughs> y'all weird. Um, but as somebody who dabbles in so many things and I like so many things and so many genres of things, I culturally and just emotionally and on a connection point of view, I exclusively date black women like like i'll give other races a chance like i like hispanic women and like white women asian women all sorts of women okay but my overall top preference would be a black woman it definitely would and that's just my preference okay because that's just something that i like to connect with on a with a person is like yes this this melanin right here yes this beautiful skin tone is something that we can connect on that is something that culturally we can talk about that is something that you know our backgrounds kind of mesh a little bit more than me talking to Susie, Sally, Sarah, you know, and the, I'm not just saying these are all white women names. I'm just saying names. They're up to your interpretation, really. But it's just a cultural thing that you connect on, at least for me personally. So we were talking about how not only do black women just not go for these nerds, they go for the other type of dudes. And I don't want to say like thug dudes or whatever like that because uh there's a saying you know nice guys finish last and which honestly i don't i don't believe in any of that because that shit sounds sounds dumb as fuck because nice guys are just patient that's why they're last so because they're nice enough to let you just run through all the fuck boys you want you want but uh girls just in general not just black women just women in general seem to gravitate a lot towards uh, a man who asserts a, a lot more dominance. That's why it's not that women just purposely date assholes. It's not that women just purposely date jerks and stuff like that. The jerks are the ones and the assholes are the ones that are just alpha enough to do dumb shit and just be okay with it and be super confident with doing said dumb shit. So every now and then they'll do some shit where it's just like, yep, I got the draws today. So it's it's a, it's a almost an alpha overconfidence type of thing. It's like they're, they're just so on top of their shit that they're just like, you know what, win or lose, I'm going after this goal. You know what I mean? And that's just something that, unfortunately, me being part of the culture, black nerds just don't do. We just don't do that. Now, also depending on our background, this completely changes. Also depending on the way we were raised, also depending on where we're from, our occupation, like a lot of that stuff changes like it, it does change everything it really does it just makes sense so really when you'll have like a situation with donald glover because that is what we're actually talking about who is uh clearly more alpha and he's uh, he's confident enough to go out to seek his dreams and stuff like that sometimes the only people that actually accept you are the ones that are outside your race so that's not me necessarily making an excuse or anything like that it's just black women y'all just keep your box fucking narrow okay y'all just keep your box fucking narrow it just it is what it is like there are tons of women out there and this is so fucking baffling to me there are tons of women out there that do not want to be with a man who who touches video games like at all like that that is just so baffling to me that i can have this hobby that is just so detrimental to you wanting to pick and connect with someone Somebody, like just on a on a level of like we could like the exact same things have great conversation but if i play video games that's the thing that that turns you so off that you don't want to fucking talk to me bye bitch bye bitch you were not supposed to be here in the first place okay especially for somebody like me because i like video games like i just do like in in certain circumstances i don't because they're just really fucking expensive it's a really big fucking hobby so i decided to try and make money off of that aka making a gaming youtube channel that ended up turning into a culture podcast and it i don't know what the fuck is going on but that's only because i have the dominance and the confidence as a person to choose different things and go down different paths you see what i mean so my background kind of matches my actions which don't match the girls that i pick unfortunately so usually like some girl that i went on a couple of dates with i met her on tinder you know let's call her um let's 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 give her let's uh, let's let's call her linda okay so me and linda we hang out a couple of times and you know like we're really hitting it off we're talking about black panther and our, some of our favorite movies and music and stuff like that i'm like oh and she's like oh what other hobbies are you into oh well you know i, I play video games from time to time i have a you know a pretty growing youtube channel you know like i like to do this that and the other thing i like to go hiking each 
I'm sorry, did you say you play video games? Yeah. Uh, Every now and then, you know, I'd just sit down for like hour, two hours, you know, whatever, and like play something, maybe record, make a video, you know, so that way I can upload it or whatever. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You said you play video games? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm done here. Even though you paid for all three of these fucking meals that, that we've had and all three times that we've hung out, I'm fucking done with you. I can't, I can't. I don't care how much, how much we're connecting. I don't give a shit. No, I can't do it. I can't do it, Sarah. I can't do it, no. So essentially, this chick just really was just not, not feeling it. And I'm just like, okay, do you want to explain to me how you sitting and scrolling through your Instagram for fucking hours and which, by the way, does not have any monetary gain. You are literally wasting your fucking time, okay? And you sitting on your phone while you're, you know, at work or you just got back home from work and you not doing nothing because you don't have no fucking hobbies that make you any fucking money and you watching Netflix and that's just so productive to you? I'm confused. I'm really fucking confused. So that that's just that point of view. But when's the last, ladies, for the ladies that are listening, when's the last time you guys gave one of those where my hug at type of guys a shot, okay? When's the last time you gave one of them a shot? Because guess what? The where my hug at type of guys, we not really focusing on this. We focusing on dollars now, baby, okay? Just because our anti-social social behavior, some of us are more dominant than others, we out here trying to figure out subtle ways to get this paper while you around here chasing some of these fuck boys, okay? And then getting fucked over and then talking about how there's no good fucking men out here. Ha, 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 ha. I'm just, I'm just saying, there's just from that standpoint, that's one point of view, that's my point of view as to why you can date outside your race. Then there's some other stuff where it's like, sometimes you can only meet certain people in the industry. And when you're in the entertainment industry, how many actual like working, dedicated black women do you come across? Not a whole lot. Because me, I'm an amateur stand-up comedian. So from time to time, when I go to an open mic, I see almost no black women. I see, I've seen more Asian women doing stand-up at some of the spots I go to than black women. Just, just to throw that out there. So, not to say that there's no black women out there in the entertainment industry. It's just, where y'all at though? Just where y'all at? And then once again, when you do find them, what's going on? They not giving to where my hug at type of dudes any type of play. So really, this is your fault, black women. <laughs> Honestly, truly, it really is. It really is your fault. So, um, you know, while you out here being strong and independent and stuff, which is great, I love me a strong and independent woman, which is why I aim for black, because usually that's some of their first traits. It just really is. But while y'all out here on your alpha dog type of shit, and you just pass up on a dude just because my eyes are a little fucked up, like, I remember, honestly, I don't, I wish I didn't have the glasses. I look so much better without them. But really, I remember I was like six or seven years old and I was watching TV and I felt my eyes just disintegrate. And I was like, yo, I can't see the television. Now, just because I look the way I look, when I pop some contact lenses in, it's completely different. You wouldn't even fucking know. Like you can easily, easily be pro-black or pro-whatever, like whatever heritage you are or whatever your your culture is okay because everybody has a different form of culture everybody has a different form of beliefs and things like that like best believe i'm very pro latino am i latino no i am not and yes i said that with an accent okay but most of my, my most of my closest homies are latino and so anytime it's anything involving latino heritage or latino culture or anything whether it's food bro best believe i'm down with it okay because these are the people that i grew up with these are the people that i know and i support the things that they do now the only thing that's a little iffy is white culture but that gets into white supremacy and that gets into white pride but when you think white pride you're just like do you wear do you dress up as a ghost on a weekly basis? You know what I mean? Like these are these are questions that you have to ask. So, uh, no, not saying that's that's a real thing. I'm just throwing jokes out there. But you know, whatever. Some people don't believe in context. Uh, but anyway, yes, that is essentially my kind of point of view on it. And I don't think there's any issues with it. Let the man date whoever he wants to date. Plus, none of us really know except for him and her how and maybe they're close friends how long they've been dating how long was it before they had kids have they talked about kids beforehand like this is a connection type of thing that only he has with this woman so really it's not, as the public it's none of our damn business so 
really, it's, it's okay to date outside your race and be pro whatever your race is. That's perfectly fine. So, you know, and now I wanna get into today's lesson, okay? Because we're 15 minutes in and I feel like it's already a little bit too long. I like to keep these just under 20 minutes. Um, so what I wanna present, and I actually wanna ask a question on today's episode is, uh, number one, how many of you guys out there are pro dating outside your race? And now that may be from a pure aesthetic, like I like the way this type of woman looks, or I like the type of way that this woman puts up her hair, or the type of hair that these women have, or the type of background that these women have, or whatever. Or men, 98% of my audience is men, so I could understand how, you know, that 2% that don't really watch my videos. But I pass this question on to you. Are you pro whatever race that you're dating? Or I mean, whatever race that you're in? and date outside your race. Is, is that something that you guys you guys care for? And tell me why, I wanna know down in the comments section. But really, the thing that I wanna, the lesson that I wanna bring forward is to my fellow nerds, okay? Black, white, Hispanic, Indian, Asian, it don't matter what you are, to my fellow nerds, if you really wanna know and you really, really want this information, the best way to pick up girls is to be confident. Be yourself and be confident in yourself, okay? Because you know what happens when when you want something to eat and you have to go and ask for it and you don't ask because you're too shy? You don't get fed, fam. Closed mouth don't get fed, all right? The worst she can do is say no and possibly pepper spray you, but you gotta come off a certain way. So, you know, it's we gotta start asserting our dominance that we have, okay? The same type of energy that you have talking to your homeboys about why Marvel is better than DC, or why DC is better than Marvel, or why Xbox is better than PlayStation, or why PlayStation is better than Xbox, or why PC actually just shits over all of you guys. You need to have that same type of energy when you're talking to some of these women, okay? I assure you 100% that you will make more shots because you will shoot more shots, gentlemen. You will shoot far more shots and therefore make more. This has been your boy, Just Jay Sama. I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. <laughs>